Homesteading, and today we're going to work on my water collection system. Uh, you know what? When you say water collection system, it sounds like this huge project, but this really isn't. This is just a water barrel we're going to put in the corner of the house, put the downspout into it, it'll fill it up, and then I'd like to get it high enough that we could actually put a hose on the bottom of it and just open the tap and water the plants. Um, so it's going to be very, very simple. Uh, someday we may do a big water collection system, but for now I think that's all we need. So let's get started on this thing. So we're going to start off with a rain barrel. We posted on our um, swap and sell group on Facebook uh, in our area and said, does anyone have a rain barrel? And one of our friends says, oh, we have one and we don't use it. So they just gave it to us and they even delivered it. And when it showed up, it's actually a rain barrel. Uh, it's got the hole in the top. It's got the hole on the side. It's got the hose and the screen to keep the mosquitoes out. So I think that's going to work absolutely great. And then I went to the hardware store and we bought a uh, flexible downspout. A, it extends pretty long and it's flexible. And that is for the 3x3, I believe. And this is by the 2x3 drain spouts. Both of them fit into this uh, style hose. Uh, and you just cut the one off you don't want. The problem is my downspout is right here um so i have to cut it off up here and then come over the fence um, but i want to put the barrel up on some sort of stand which went with some cement blocks and an old patio stone. I think that's gonna work real good. And it's really not too far to the downspout. From here. What I have to do is unfasten the downspout here, cut it somewhere here, and then with a flexible pipe, it goes right into the barrel. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a drill and drill out those pop rivets because then it's screwed into the wall there and I'll just have to move that up. When we built the house, I kind of forgot to ask them to put a uh, drain spout in such a way that I could actually put a rain barrel. It's so funny, back in the day, every house had a rain barrel. It was almost to be expected of. I forgot to ask the builder to do that. So it's not a huge thing, but I hate trying to cut on my house. I'm no carpenter, you know, so. Now I have to cut this off at about here. At Canadian Tire, I got these uh, flexible uh, downspouts. And you know the funny thing is, I really didn't feel like going out, so I went to uh, look at these on Amazon. And this was $85 on Amazon. It was like crazy. Um, at Canadian Tire, they were 11 bucks. And I'm going, how in the world is this $85 on Amazon uh, for a little piece of plastic? But I guess if people are willing to pay that, uh, they're willing to sell it to you for it, so. She's all hooked up and uh, 
the flexible drain spout is on we're gonna go and uh, I may have to put a little bit of an extension on the end of that to reach the barrel nice other than that I think it's gonna fit real good to attach the overflow hose this is if the barrel gets too full uh, and it'll just pour out the hose oh, come on So it even comes with a screen that goes on the top so no mosquitoes can get in and turn this into a big uh, mosquito factory. I sanded the edge so it wouldn't wear through the screen uh, but I think just the weight of this will hold it down in place and it seems to look pretty good. So there you go, I got the rain water collection system set up. Uh, it's just, you know, it's a fancy word for a rain barrel, but um, I think it's really gonna help our raised bed garden because when you pour uh, rain water on your garden, it works so much better. Uh, I remember growing up, my dad had a rain barrel all the time and he would use it to water his plants. And you know what, you kind of get away from it. I really think well water's not the best for your garden. Uh, it's got a lot of minerals like salt and stuff like that. It doesn't help the plants to grow. So this job is done and it's off the list. And uh, that's about enough for today. And you guys have a good one.